Hey guys, how's it going? The Hacker Nerd here. Welcome back to Factorio. Last episode, we worked on getting our iron gear production area figured out and set up. I ran some tracks and got all this stuff lined up. So what we're going to do here is we are going to make this the depot area where the trains come in, drop stuff off, pick stuff up. And this up here is going to be the production area. We've left ourselves plenty of room. <laughs> plenty. So that way, as uh, the, the base gets bigger and bigger and more things are needed, um, we will have plenty of stuff to work with. So what I'm probably going to do is... Okay, so the ratio, the ratio for gears, it's uh, two plates to one gear wheel, and it produces every half second, which is fast. So what I want to be able to do is have two trains, I guess technically I could have one train, but two trains uh, to every one train of, excuse me, what, <laughs> two trains of iron plates to every one train of iron gears. So uh, how am I going to do this? If we maybe made a second line through, the two on the bottom could be drop off and then this one could be pick up. And I think that would be perfectly reasonable. So let's kind of do something like, I'm just kind of guessing here. Just kind of guessing. Let's kind of put it in the middle. I think that should work out. I think. I don't think it's perfectly in the middle, but it will be perfectly fine. <laughs> There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and do our signals. Get that out of the way. One. Let's do that one there. That one there. That one there. And then let's go ahead and terminate these. I don't know if it's perfectly lined up, but it's perfectly fine. <laughs> Apparently that's going to be my new saying. I like it. It's, it's good. It's good. Put that there. That there. And that there. Okay. And then we can uh, adjust these as needed, basically. Sorry, kind of brain farted there. It's been a rough day. <laughs> Lots of recording today. Lots of crazy puppy stuff this past week. All right. So up here, I'm just going to put um, another couple set of signals. Let's do one there. Let's do one there and then one there. And we are good. Okay. All right, bots. Good to go. All right, let's go ahead and grab some signals. I'm starting to get low on signals. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's do that. Whoops, did not line that up right. And did not line that right up. Line that right, line that up right either. <laughs> oh man, the brain, the brain. Okay, there we go. So we are going to designate this as pickup. Um, there it is. Okay, iron, 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 iron gears pickup. And I hit my microphone cable. Sorry if you that blew your eye. Sorry if that blew your ears up. That was that was my fault. My bad. Sorry. Okay, let's see here. Awesome guy. Nine zero zero one. It's over nine though. Okay, enough of that. Gears. Now the thing is I'm going to name these the same. So that way it'll just go to the first available one. And I don't have to make it complicated. I think that will work. I think. I could be wrong. But I think. And I'm only going to do... Actually, hold on. I'm not going to do these yet. I'm just going to go ahead and lay this out. Actually, uh, <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. I should really learn to rely... To rely on... This. And it looks like... Okay, so I didn't know that. So, if you have something in your hand... Anything it looks like? What about, what about signals? Well, signals should, anyway. Lights? So, if you have anything in your hand... Uh, those little white things show up, so I should really start learning to rely on those. And we are doing, we are continuing with our two train thing, two tr uh, two uh, wagon thing. So if I put this here, this should line up here, and this should line up here. So that way if we have more than one train at each stop, it'll work out. Now, let's see here. 
So this is going to be loading. So we'll go ahead and do this. Yeah, I can do this without trains. Just broke a bad habit. <laughs> All right. And then these are going to be unloading. Okay, good, good. All right, so if we, if, maybe if we go in one direction and then out the other and just have it going clockwise, that would be nice. Okay, that's a, that's a good start, I think. And then we will continue that pattern over here. All right, so if we come in here, do that, do this, and do that, should be good. And that'll leave us some space for some power pulls. There we go. Okay, let's get a light here. All right, so we have our ins. Now our outs are gonna be a little bit of a different story. So I think what I'm going to do is run this up, run the uh, the main lines north and then kind of combine them or do what I'm gonna do and then kind of come out this direction. So I should probably stop, start with the, uh, the, the southern one first and get that kind of snaked through as it's gonna work. I think up, I think over, up. If I just keep it up and then go sideways, it'll be fine. It'll just get kind of thickened through here with, what, 16 lines? Two, three, four, excuse me, eight lines. Now, let me think about this. Let me think about this. Now, those are all going to be unloading quickly. I don't know how many inserters it takes to fully fill up a belt. I really should know this. I really should. But I'm thinking, I don't know, hmm. Six will absolutely, absolutely compress it. But if I did, if I did three and three. Oh, I'm, I'm messing this all up. Okay. Let's see if three and three will do, do anything. Mm, actually, no, let's, let's keep it simple. Keep it simple and then we can adjust it later. Keep it simple, so good. That's, that's, that's a good mantra. And then we can just run four total up. And why four? Because, because uh, splitters, that's why. Oops, one too many. I mean, I guess I'll be using that later, but it's fine. Okay, run that down. All right, and splitters there and there. That should be good. All right. So, wait, what am I thinking? There is something, there's something that I'm supposed to be doing. This is supposed to have buffer. I forgot about that. I'm not bad. That can just be adjusted simply though. Thankfully, so, I mean, I guess those will need to stay. I'll just need to put them on each side. And then, yeah, there we go. Okay, man, complicated. Everything is complicated. That's this game for you, though. <laughs> and it's only as as complicated as you make it, really. Okay, looks like I'm getting low on iron chests. So let's make a few of those. Steel chests. Oh no, 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 not steel chests. Iron chests, man. Well, now I have a few of those. How how much space are those? versus these so that's three full so 32 yeah okay so it's probably double if not whatever i didn't count i'm not gonna count it's something more than 32 <laughs> some multiple of four i'm sure all right now i uh, you know buffers so buffers 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 once again as things are off unloading other stations this can still be working and uh 
dropping off stuff into each of these chests as a buffer. And uh, what that allows is... There we go. Um, <laughs> it just makes it more efficient when new trains come up because then there'll be plenty of stuff in these chests that it'll just drop off and then when you use stack inserters and stuff it can grab more per uh, per cycle I guess and instead of just reaching off of a belt which may or may not be filled up at that time you are limited only to the amount that your inserter can grab and the quantity of your chests. There we go. Okay. That looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and run the power poles. Let's go ahead and keep them in a line. There we go. I guess technically I could have probably done that and not been wasteful. Yeah, that's better. Okay, we have now power. We now have power. I just I said, I think I said that weird again. Words, man, it's so hard. They're very difficult for me, apparently. So let's not do that exactly one down. That way I can run this here. Oh boy. And then run that there. And then if we continue this. Oh my. And then the same thing here. But this is going to run here. And then later on, if we need to, we can add more stops here and do some weird logic stuff and then adjust all this as it needs to be adjusted. We're free now. This will be fine. Standing on the tracks because no trains are coming. All right. So do we want to go ahead and make the shift? I don't see why we shouldn't. So if we say maybe one, two, three, four. Actually, I should do this. That's not going to fit. So there needs to be at least four here. So one, two, three. Needs to be at least five here. One for the underground. That's about as far over as we can come, I think. I think. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And I believe I can put a balancer here. So I'm just going to build this here. Get this all lined up. Go ahead and build our balancer mechanism here. Okay, I built that like <laughs> I, I grabbed the perfect amount. I think no, I didn't. I'm sitting here tooting my own horn, and I messed up. Totally messed up. Good job, Keith. Nope. Let's just mess up all the things. That. 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 And that, there we go. Okay, now we have two trains being balanced back and forth. That's nice. Very nice. All right, so now I kind of want to go ahead and get it close. Here, let's go ahead and get rid of all the trees in the area. Let's get our target for trees. Yes, so now I can just do this. And let the bots go to town. Alright, so... Maybe leave... There's no need to leave one space. Let's just go ahead and do full. How far can I make that? Right there. There we go. 
All right, now, how are we doing on assembly machines? We have 24 of those. I mean, that'll be plenty to start, I think. Now, the question is, how am I going to do this? I mean, if I... If I start at the bottom here and work my way up, it's going to end up putting a lot of... It's going to end up getting tight. Because, I mean, if I, if I end up having to build this all the way up, end up having four lanes come through. I should plan for the four lanes first. I should leave myself plenty of space. But if I work from the top down... Yeah, well... Mm. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Plan for the, f the eight. Because we will eventually need two. Uh, the eight lines rather than the four lines is what I'm trying to say. So that way, if that's there... I'm not going to complete this. There's no need to. I'm just trying to get an outline. Alright, so I'll know then I'll have space to work with down here. And we can't go past this. The thing I am going to do is work from the other side there. I'll make more sense in just a moment. I'm thinking through this just a second. All right, okay, okay, okay. So basically the idea <laughs> is normally this would come through here, up to there, or to here, and then up, and then we'll do with, you know, whatever we need to. But um, the thing is, I want to go ahead and feed from this because we want to feed from the inside to the outside. Um, so that way, we, if when we do need to expand, not if, but when, we'll, uh, we can just switch the lines over to the secondaries. So basically, this is currently is the primary line, which it's going to switch from here being the primary to here being the secondary. So that is now going to be the primary. So that way, if we start feeding off of this one first and building up, later on we can switch over this one back to the primary and feed that up further north. And it'll be fine. And it will be good. And it'll be awesome. Somehow, some way, that makes sense. Makes sense in my head. It's not a very reliable place, though. <laughs> All right. There we go. So now, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and extend just a little bit. Give us a little, little bit of space in case we need to do verbal port stuff. And then probably go ahead and run this over. Now, how am I going to do this? So it's two plates per one gear. Two plates per one gear. Actually, I could probably run two full belts per lane, per line. Yeah, because then we can get more bang for our buck horizontally here. It only takes half a second to make one. So, I mean, hmm. we shall see. Now, if I go ahead and put down... I feel like I should give myself space, but I think it'll be fine if I put it here. Let's go ahead and do 10, just to get it started. There we go, and then we can go on the outside, I guess. Or... Or, actually, we could continue that thing we were doing before, like with the smelteries, and do a three lane through the middle. Because, I mean, the, if we keep with the ratio, the ratio is two to one. So for every two that come through, one's going to be sped out. I mean, the next more complicated thing is going to be the timing of it. So if we do something like... I mean, technically, I could put two, two of these guys down. Hmm. If we need to do that, we will. But I'm only going to do it like this for now. Alright. And then we will need to do 
fast lungs coming back in. Oops, messed that one up. Messed that one up. <laughs> All right. Um, this one and this one. Okay. All right. So that should work for now. And then line that up properly. Then what I'm going to do is go ahead and clip this like that. And that way, everything coming through here will get placed on this middle line. And it will be wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Just go every two. I think that should be fine, because, yeah, that'll leave spaces. All right. I'm excited for this. This is exciting. I think what I'm going to do just for now is run this something like this, I think. I'd probably just do that. How's my power doing? Doing good. All right, let's go ahead and get these designated for gears. And let's go ahead and get a light down. <laughs> that would be nice. His lights are awesome. All right, all right, all right. I think also what I'm gonna do is just cut these right here. Actually, make it more even, let's cut those right there. And then that way everything will just flow through here, through the two we have currently. And if this works out nice, then we will start concerning ourselves with uh, expanding that out a bit more. Oh, and I just realized that's messed up. Glad I caught that. All right, so now, now, um, we don't need all this. Uh, oh yeah, I have my targeting. Let's go to normal. And let's pick up our deconstruction planner again. <laughs> all right, so if we have, end up having two trains picking up, we want to have plenty of space So we have, we have, we have, we have up until at least here, and I'm just doing this for our measurement sake. And I hit my thing again, sorry. All right, so let me think here. I guess technically I could run it down and around too, but I'm not going to do that. That's four, one, two, three, four. That measured out nicely. So now if we have other stuff coming through, we can send it down here and then have a secondary line here. But then we'll have to, yeah, so we can double this perfectly because it's two to one. So we have two trains here, one train here. So we can do four trains to two trains and just expand this up as needed. So that'll be plenty of iron production, iron gear production for now. All right, the question is though, the question is, how far ever can I get away with this? I mean, I guess technically I could go one more. Here is with this build, it's gonna take a little bit of time for materials to cycle through this system, but it should be fine. The idea is to get this to where everything's saturated and then uh, increase the efficiency with upgrading belts and other things as well. All right, so let's go do that. Let's do that. Do that. And, oop, nope, not do that. All right, so just kind of like we did on the other side. Normally this would come through, uh, excuse me, this would come through here, but, and okay, so this is something I didn't think about. So there's no way that eight lines going in is going to produce eight lines coming out, unless I do some sort of weird something where 
I split them. I mean, it depends on the production of this. So uh, once this gets filled up, we'll figure it out. But um, eight lines out may not be, may not work. We'll figure it out though. All right. Let's go ahead and run this one line through though. Just to the end. And there's no balancing here. But there should be, I guess. Yeah, let me go ahead and toss in a balancer. So let's toss in two balancers. Can I squeeze them in here? Will that work? I don't know. We shall see. One, two. And I need more of these guys. All right, there we go. Two spaces, right? Yeah, oh, that was perfect. All right. Now, technically, <laughs> if I wanted to be super fancy, I would do like an eight-lane balancer. But really, I'm I'm not too worried about it. If it gets to the point where I'm starting to need eight-lane balancers, then I will, uh, I will, I will rebuild as needed, because that's a whole different ballpark. Wait, I don't think I did that right. I think. Wait, what? What does that not look right? Does that need to 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 to? Okay, what did I not do right? Okay, I I'm I'm brain farting here. Okay, so okay, it needs to go in. That's what needs to happen, and then some of these need to go out. That's what I was having trouble with. Okay, so that needs to go in. Needs to go in, that needs to go through, that needs to come out and out. Right? Under and through. Okay, yeah, that, that's right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, all the things, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, now, let's see here. We should have an iron train. I guess I should probably use this guy because we got him. Let's go with iron or no iron plates, iron or stew or iron plates, iron or drop off cover. Oh, I guess I, uh, I have not made anything to use that yet. Oops, all the wrong buttons. All the wrong buttons. Let's do iron or drop off. That should work. It's gonna loop all the way around. But that's fine. Oh, look at that. There's nothing here. And it looks like maybe I didn't name. Oh, I figured I was gonna do that. <laughs> nope. Yep. Did I not name this? Yes, that's that's the issue. Okay, I did not rename this properly. So how did I name this before? So iron plates, <laughs> iron plates, iron plates, um, pickup? I think so. Yeah, I think that's good. Because it is an, a pickup for iron plates. It's exactly what that is. So let's go ahead and drop this guy here. Actually, let's drop him up here. <laughs> And then grab a couple of these guys and then do a little bit of filtering here because we don't need all that just yet. Good, good. And then these should have, oh yeah, we're good there. Good there, good there. So now let's go ahead and get this all named up. We're going to make a line here for the gears. So we're going to do iron plates pickup until full. And then we're going to do iron gears. No, excuse me. Iron drop off, yes, until empty. And there shouldn't really be any sort of issues where it's, where I need to do any sort of inactivity buffer because uh, really that should be processing thoroughly, like from start to finish. There, there, like the issue with uh, the inactivity is like with the, the quarries, which tend to slow down over time and trickle out. So this, uh, this won't really need that. So let's do this. Iron gears. Iron, uh, iron plate supply. Let's 
to refuel, even though it's not going to save it. There it is. And we should be good. Alright, so it is good to go. It's live. So let's go ahead and run this. Should stop right here. Fill up pretty quickly. Plenty enough. So let's do this now. Drop off. I love riding trains. Yeah, it should drop down here. Drop off there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This could absolutely fill four lanes per. So I did not do that right. So technically, I should. Mm, okay, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. And I realize now that I <laughs> can totally redo this better. I did not think through that properly, apparently. So let's go ahead and rebuild this a little bit. Actually, actually, let me let me take that back. Uh, I realize the episode is long, so let me go ahead and end the episode here. And in the next episode, we will uh, reconfigure this to where we have uh, four lane, four lines of plates coming out each, and then we will reconfigure all this uh, appropriately as well. So, guys, I hope you're enjoying this. I know I am. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.